another video this video is Votifier and uh, how to use Votifier um, Votifier is a plugin which allows you to um, get rewards for voting and uh, so how to use it it's actually pretty easy once you figure it out like for me it was really hard until I finally figured it out and I'll be showing you guys some of the mistakes I made and really how to do it because I watched a lot of videos as well and I pretty much figured out now that I know what mistakes people were making and uh, so you gotta go inside your plugins then you're gonna wanna go inside your Votifier plugin and then go um, config is where you change the stuff for that and if you want uh, if you want to find your uh, public key which is uh, you're gonna need that to actually send uh, to make um, to pretty much send what uh, you voted for into your uh, server if that makes sense uh, it's pretty much like it knows where to go pretty much And then uh, once you got that, you go back. You gotta go inside your config file now. And this is pretty much where all the magic happens. So on your host, you're gonna want to put if you have a um, first. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it. If you have a if you put forwarded your server and then next I'm going to be doing it if you have a hosted server so pretty much if uh, you have a, if you put forwarded your server the host is the local IP and the port is just the default port that it comes with it's going to be like the host is going to be 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 and you just uh, like take that and just paste in your local IP and for your port just leave it alone it's already going to be ready it's going to be a uh, 8192 I believe or just don't touch it if you have port forwarded and uh, if you have a hosted server this is where it gets a little bit more complicated because hosted servers actually like um, they they tell you a specific uh, port to put in so for the host is the exact same thing as a port forwarded server it's just the IP that um, like they tell you to put so pretty much like mine's to get inside the server, like go to Minecraft at server, and then it tells you to at, put an IP. Mine's adventure.serverminer.com, and that's what you put on your host too, whatever IP that you can actually get inside your server with. And for your port, uh, your port, you're gonna have to actually tell your host what port you can use. So write up a ticket or support thing, whatever, just email them or something, and tell them. Uh, what port do I use for uh, Votifier? And they'll tell you, like, they told me it was 21,000 to 24,000 around there. And to actually figure out what to put down, because they just give you random numbers, um, you want to go, uh, if you used uh, FileZilla before, you should know how to do this. You find your port, like, right here. Everything else is blocked out because uh, it's kind of private information. So uh, for your port, it's 21 mine's 21 and yours probably is going to be something different or something mine's server minor so uh you guys are gonna have to find where your port is if you used Fonzilla before you probably should know where your port is because that's what you use to get inside to and uh on this port mine says 21 so if it's 21 uh i just put 21 here and it's just three random numbers 21,574 21,777 just has to be the first two numbers that you put from right there and then you can put whatever you want um, and to actually like do it once you guys config this and saved it and all you want to go inside uh, 
like I'm gonna pretend that um I'm uploading my server inside a website. So it's gonna besides that test Votify thing, it's gonna do this exact same thing. And for your address, I'm just gonna put whoops. My address, which is the host. This is for both port forwarded server and host server. And the port, if you have a port forwarded server, just leave that and uh, or change it if yours was uh, your default was different. And your port, you want to just put over here. And this is going to be different for everyone except for the port forwarded people. Because um, if you have a host, they like to change it up for security reasons or something like that. And for your public key, I showed you where to get that in the beginning, and I'll show you guys again. I'm not going to be showing you guys, and you probably shouldn't be showing anyone else what your public key is, because it's um, kind of confidential, and like if you give it out to anyone, they could probably like hack into your Votify or something like that, or um, put you inside a server where you don't want to. It, it's just bad. So you got to go inside your public key, not your private key. You click in here, um, and it's going to give you some numbers. And you just copy all of that, make sure to get all of it, and make sure it's all in there. And then you just test it as you're sending a notification to server miner, blah, 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 blah. Occurring, nether, pub key, no, private key, edit, too long. And it's saying that because uh, my public key was... Uh, wrong but it doesn't exist and that's pretty much it like you got your public key you put it in here and then you got your port which the port is I'll rerun it for you guys the port um you have a port forwarded server you leave that default on what you got um in the config file and uh your address you just put it in the IP that you use to get inside and for the hosted server for your port for hosted servers, you gotta tell them like what can I use for Votifier for the port, and they'll give you like some number ranges, and then you wanna uh, like I have it in here. It's gonna say 21. Like look for your port 21, and then you just fill out the rest. Port 21574. So that's pretty much it. Um, and the last three numbers can be whatever you want after the 21 or whatever number it gives you. Uh, let me just explain that a little better. Like, the port they gave me was 21, but they probably could have gave me, like, if it was a different hosted server, they probably could have gave me, like, 217. So I have to put 217 in here first and then fill out the rest of the two numbers, or in this case, three numbers. But that's pretty much it the last three numbers can be whatever they want and this is we play to play if you guys have any questions please leave it in the comments and I'll make sure to uh, read them and see what you guys have done wrong and um, hope this helped um, this was pretty much all the problems I encountered I don't know about you guys but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you